Hey everybody, welcome to another episode where this week we are going to shoot basketball! Mmm, boom! Dude, I am so, so excited. We're finally getting some basketball. A different change of scene. Man, this is going to be so epic. You know what, after this many episodes, I probably should try to create a intro. So, let's do an intro. Okay. Before we do our intro, I need to break in. I'm going to do this a couple times during this video. I started this eight months ago in November of 2017. Started this episode and I didn't finish it. And there's a few reasons why and I'm going to break in and kind of describe those. But I'm really excited. Let's do the intro. Welcome to Rob Gray Photography! Let's go pack our bag. Since this is the first time we're doing basketball, we're gonna do a bag pack. Normally I would just say, hey, look down below and you can see all my gear. But we're gonna really quickly uh, tell you what kind of gear I'm gonna bring to a basketball game. And then we're gonna head up to the John Huntsman Center for the University of Utah. Let's go. Pack our bag, I mean. Okay, for basketball, here's my setup. I've got a 1DX with a 24 to 70 and a 300 millimeter and a 70 to 200 and a 1DX. I use two camera bodies for uh, basketball because it's one of the faster sports. Uh, some of the sports like baseball, you could go, you could get away with just using one camera body and be able to switch back and forth. But for basketball, because they go back and forth so quickly, put down one camera and pick up the other when they're on the other side and then vice versa. I usually like to set up with my 70 to 200 and my 24 to 70 to kind of get uh, some perspective. And then I'll change my 24 to 70 with my 300 mil. I don't even put this on a monopod. It's light enough that you can pick it up and set it down between your legs and back and forth. But I always will have my 70 to 200 set up and that'll be my main shooter is the 1DX with the 70 to 200. That's kind of my setup. Uh, other than that, one of the things I, I always bring with basketball, you gotta sit right on the floor. So I've got one of these little uh, kind of camping chair things that I set on the floor and uh, I get tired after sitting for a couple hours on the floor. I add a little extra padding. That's what Husky guys do. Anyway, there it is. I'll put my laptop in there and head on to the stadium. So let's head up to the John M. Huntsman Center at University of Utah Basketball. Let's go. Here we are at the Huntsman Center and I'm gonna head inside, go through the underbelly, go in and see. Look at that. That bus right there. That's the Arizona State bus. So I'm gonna head in down onto the floor, get prepared for the game. Down here on the floor waiting for the uh, warm-ups. We uh, just give you a run down here. Um, right over here is where uh, the photographer sit along these things. Each one of these slots is a spot for a photographer. Uh, we've got that board right there with the big buzzer that'll go off and hurt your ears. 
Um, I'm here about an hour before the first tip-off, so teams are out here warming up. And uh, anyway, uh, if you look up there, the new scoreboard, that thing's going to put a whole lot of red light down on the ground when they, they do. But you also notice there's a lot of um, LED lights, so really good lighting here at the Huntsman Center, so things should be good. Okay, so this is where things got a little sideways. I have my Osmo, I set it on the counter, I start eating the pizza that we just saw, and lo and behold, the guy comes walking up, uh, asks me about my Osmo and says, hey, you're not recording any of the game footage, are you? The NCAA gets a little bummed. So I start thinking about it, and uh, it's not worth getting in trouble just doing these videos. I've done 17 of them. And uh, I unpublished a few of them, and that's kind of where it is. It's not just because YouTube decided to demonetize my account. And it had a lot to do with uh, not wanting to, to get in trouble because I do these things for fun. I do it to kind of share what it's like. I don't do it because I'm trying to make money. I obviously don't make any money because I'm not monetized. So anyway, that's the whole backstory. Alright, so uh, after the game here, uh, just editing my photos, this is what we do after. I sit down here right on the court and check it out, right here on the court. That guy's up there taking down a remote camera, but uh, it's an exciting game. It's a lot of fun. Arizona State won at the end there by three and uh, got a lot of good pictures, so look forward to sharing those with you guys and everyone. Thanks for joining. Have a good night. See you later. So I tried to finish the video. Was a little bummed. Um, decided not to use any of the game footage. Maybe not as many pictures. Um, anyway, so make some suggestions on what I should do. I'm I'm kind of at a loss, and that's why it took so long to come back to do it. Soccer's been going. I've been to a lot of games. Took a lot of pictures. That's all there is to it. Yo, one this game for you, Rob. Yeah, boy.